All right, guys, welcome back to The Existential Way. Kevin Meredith here. The Israel of God. Now, in closing, in the little two-part podcast, Return to Your First Love, Paul talks about, in the last chapter, towards the end, and I forget the verse number, um, us being the Israel of God. And it's important to understand this because there is a... The spiritual aspect of this is God's grace in how we've been spiritually adopted. Essentially back into the birthright of Jacob where we've talked about spiritually the implication of the of the woman giving birth to the man child or Christ himself spiritually speaking as well as her wearing the crown which represented the 12 tribes she represented Israel the the bride and essentially the wife spiritually speaking and then when this physical representation came to pass um, the spiritual implication was that the dragon could not get to her And so, the dragon went to war against her her offspring, the remnant. We know the remnant is Jacob, physically, historically speaking. Okay? And this is why we cannot boast against the branches. The cursed branches that were once removed. Because it's those same cursed branches that were given the promises of that of the seed of the woman who birthed the man-child. Okay? And so, hold on, let me get some coffee here. Wake up. This is the whole point of spirit. what it is to be spiritually adopted. We cannot boast against the branches. All right, we have not replaced Israel. The, the 12 tribes. These are the promises given to an elect, a special election of the, of the hundred, you know, of the, of Israel. You know, the one third, the remnant, who will remain. Hi. And so, it's not that everything has gone as the New Testament Christian likes to believe, where everyone's equal. And, um, now it's just solely spiritual and solely um, God's grace through faith. Then you would be you you would be boasting against the branches to say that God does not have a promised seed in physical representation because of the spiritual implication in the spiritual in the heavens above, where the woman birthed the man child spiritually. But when Christ came to pass physically, that was the physical representation of what the woman did. Okay. And so once he did that, that is the promise that the 12 tribes would come back to inherit. Is is those who have those who are of the seed today physically who have the 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 the, the spirit of the man child that the woman birthed spiritually. It, 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 they coincide with Israel, the, you know, the Israel of Jacob. And that's why I say the birthright of Jacob. So when we are, in a sense, Gentiles or, or even Gentile targeted individuals who are believers, um, and even 
Israelite brothers. The promises have returned to them by way of the Holy Spirit, by way of, of that which has been promised. But to us, and, and we've both been, in a sense, we've, we're, we've, we're both coming back at the same time. There's, there's a fulfillment happening where the cup of the Gentiles, you know, it must, we must reach that limit. You know, that's a spiritual adoption. We have the spiritual adoption, um, but the root is given the promises to that. So we cannot boast against the branches who were once cursed, who are, and when those, like I said, when the scriptures say, when, when that root, when that curse is lifted, then we'll be able to see the totality. And, and, and I really think it's an individual thing we're going through right now, where we can see our adoption to the birthright of Jacob. That's And see, that's what I, I deem as God's order for how one comes to become a part of Israel. Because when you're adopted spiritually, you're becoming a part of, 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 of the promises to the woman's physical seed that, in physical representation. We're coming to that, and a lot of people just... They're trying to go over that, that which is God, God has done for his own, to the Jew first and then the Gentile, to, and which is really to the Israelite first and then to the Gentiles. And so this is why the world is, is its Christianity is so out of order is because that spirit, the spirit of Esau, which is today's Christianity, has, st has basically stolen that birthright and paraded it outside of God's order for what it truly is to be spiritually adopted. And so now since you don't have a biblical root, you, you are, you have foregone that, not you personally. I'm just saying the general world of, of, of believer. It has to create a religion to give it its right for existence, which is still false, though. You know, in a sense, those who have a heart for Christ, whether they know it or not, and are not harming anyone, and are not taking advantage, and are truly of the Holy Spirit, they are, the, they are also the authentic seed. But those Christians who are gang stalking and acting like that's something that's part of their walk, that's 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 the uh, the spirit of Esau in Christianity, this 501c3 system where every, they believe everybody's equal, and that um, God's covenant belongs to some far off group, that it, it's not us, it's somebody out and out in the future, someone in the future, or left behind in, in, in a group in the past where somehow the Israelites don't exist anymore physically as a physical representation. That's the whole misalignment of, of, of how God's grace orientation has been uh, kept from the birthright from knowing themselves, spiritually speaking. Okay, so now you can see why New Testament Christianity it, it lacks the it lacks the spirit and the power and, and and you might be asking why because you you lack the testimony of what it is to to persevere as a, as the saint and we're going to get into yeah I want to call this one special election but what is it you're going through when you truly become spiritually adopted back to the root you can't boast above the root either you know the root is 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 the promises is, is is the woman's seed spiritually the implication spiritually which is promised to the 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 physical seed prophetically and then anything above and beyond that is adopted to, to God's order of that and not just to our own you know uh, our own understanding uh, aside from that that now we're just totally God's grace orientation without uh, God's promises or, or covenant, covenant, covenantal people in effect. And so, but that's what happens. Now, now you have to see, why does this happen? Why, when, when this thing is out of God's order, Esau has create a, created order out of chaos. It's not God's order. It's, it's Esau's order. And so the same goes for Esau's form of Christianity. Esau was a hunter. It's a works-based 
legalistic religion, really stemming from uh, paganism. Okay, but let's look at it. What happens when when you don't have the testimony made to life? You don't have uh, the faith, uh, the faith in Jesus Christ, and the only faith is, is is when you are of the perseverance of the saints. You will be persecuted. You will go through a trialy fire. Um, what happens when that's missing? Well, then you have a you have a nominal form of Christianity. You have you have a five hundred one c three which takes its grace orientation and applies it to the world at large. But that's not scripturally accurate according to God's order, according to his promises, for what true spiritual elect adoption is. And so there's a very small group of us who are um, coming into understanding of that, and they don't want you to know that. And um, like I said, I thank the brothers for teaching. I think if you're anybody, if you're a TI, you should be listening to the Israelite brothers teach, and there's some good ones out there. You, uh, you know, I, I, I've subscribed to, um, for a while now, Judah J, um, New Breed, Till the World Over, um, and uh, who else was I listening to? I'm trying to think here. Uh, no, I just forgot that one, but it was uh, another brother, though, and wh when it comes to me, I'll let you guys know, but, um, oh, and Yashar Alasamos. Unfortunately, the spiritual contention with me is that most people in this community uh, don't lean that way. They're still fully inclined to something that is not, it's not really helping them in their walk. You can see it in them. They're, they're just not, they're not, you know... Where you go? Where is your peace and rest? Where is your peace of mind? Where is your, you know? And it, it, see, with that spirit of Esau, it it it, it causes separation. It causes confusion, and there's really no. You're, you're you're seeking God, but there's nowhere. You're not really seeking anywhere. You know, because your examination is not going straight into Scripture. You're not you're not dealing straight with the person of Christ and examining yourself to scripture. And I know it's hard. It's, it, it's taken time for me to, to, um, when they keep the Israel of God or spiritual Israel out of, of understanding of who we are, it takes time to, uh, and much spiritual discernment to where God wants to, you know, adjoining, adjoin you to, to get that understanding. And then with that comes the resolve of, of everything that you've been missing. And so we have a, an apostate form of Christianity, which is the result of it is no spiritual authority in Christ. Um, it's very hard to tell if the Holy Spirit is even with this type of church anymore. Um, most Christians today are cowards. They, don't, they want to escape. And, and this is the whole word that keeps coming to me in spirit about gra the, the false grace orientation of, uh, of a... Of a replacement uh, form of Christianity today that we have is this it lacks power because it assumes that everyone is chosen and not everyone is chosen many are called but few are chosen and so what happens is when because the, the many are called don't know um the examination, the the, uh, and and don't have the exam the examined expectations, they begin to persecute, whether knowing or or unknowing, those who are examined, and that's what we know, as, gang stalking, spirit, you know, from a Christian spiritual sense or a or a um, unknowing Christian spiritual sense is. It's a scary thing to know that Christianity is persecuting the elect. And a lot of them don't even know it. They don't believe we exist because they, they, they're not of that, uh, the, the Israel of God. Where now it's when the pastor preaches, he says, just take their word for it. Take the word of the saints, what they've gone through, what Christ did for you on the cross, Yes, Christ did do that for you on the cross. And yes, the saints did suffer 
and were persecuted much. But if you're to have the persevere with the saints um, and have the faith of the saints, which is really the proper order of, of what it is to have faith in Jesus Christ, then you would understand that once again, the order of the order of, of teaching is, is out. It's, it's indoctrination insta- instead of proper grace oriented doctrine according to the Israel of God. And so there, there, there isn't, there is a, see what, what's, what's nice about un, this understanding is the Israel of God, as Paul says, is it's beyond physical descendancy, but it's not without physical descendancy because the physical descendancy is the representation of, uh, the spiritual promises of return. And so these are all things that the saints went through and understood and knew. They knew who they were in Christ. They suffered for it. A lot of them gave their lives. So did the disciples. You know, so when your pastor says, oh, you can you can just, you know, go ahead and, and your gang stalking will go away. It's you. See, a lot of them first, since they're part of the state, to them it's it's you're exhibiting a psychological reaction more than you are spiritual warfare. Although they want to call it spiritual warfare without actually being examined to it, since they don't have the testimony made to life, a lot of them, they're, they're, they're going to blame you as the victim for what, you're, for, for what you're causing. But then they would have to say the same thing because when you lack the, the, the witness, the spiritual authority, the, the power, the power, the spiritual power and the spiritual authority of what it is to witness the same things that the saints went through, then there's nothing that any anybody can say to deny you uh, something that one has not exhibited for one's own life. You know, so understand. I say if you're if you're targeted, you're in a good place spiritually speaking. If you are not, and everything is going all you know all too well, and somehow you've managed to to have some spiritual warf- warfare for a season, and it it seems to have um, moved on quickly. I, I'm not going to say that's the same thing. That might be might be just spiritual warfare, personally speaking. Um, but the examination and the testing is the, is the heartbeat of what it is to 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 persevere with the faith of the saints and go through because they want to teach you that you, you look you can take their word for it. No, you can't. If you're a believer, you should expect a trial by fire, you know. But God had promised all along that he's going to set aside a special election where he's going to allow this. He's going to do this to us in allowing it so that we can see for ourselves what system we are not of. And once you get gain that perspective, you can now step into the power and authority of what Christ is doing and for doing for your life and what He represents, what He's t- what God has chosen you, you know, as in terms of a special election. The Israel of God is. Um, we have something that they despise that we have because they don't have it, plain and simple, you know, and so. The Israel of God is humbly received, and it is a special election, and um, it turns Christianity on its head because then you see the false grace orientation of Christianity without spiritual authority. To be a real Christian is to persevere with the saints is to have that testimony made to eternal life, is to be spiritually adopted to the root in terms of God's biblical order for his own promised seed and not to deviate from that. See, back in the day when people adjoined themselves to the community that Christ was a part of, they didn't go to God 
the Samaritan didn't go to God and then speak at the Israelite as if the Samaritan knew more than the, the Israel, uh, Israelite about the order of God. If anybody wanted to adjoin uh, themselves to the God of Israel, they first went to the community and they, and they became part of the system that Christ was, you know, and then that's how it worked in physical representation. Now we don't have that today. We don't have people who are saying, well, we need to be separate from the world, even if it requires uh, physical rep physical representation in order to step into what it is to, to, to be sanctified and suffer for it. We don't have that. We have a community base where you must conform your notion to the group, to the crowd, and accept it for what it is. And if you, and if you, if you, if you try to stem against the tide or go against the tide, we're going to kick you out. That, that, see, that's the, that's the thrust of, of, of Romanism right there. The guilt of blasphemy. If you, if you, if you think that you're, you're an individual that is above the group, then you have no place with God from that perspective. And it was the same perspective as the Pharisees. It's a Babylon, these are Babylonian extensions of religion, you know. But the, they do not make up, these religions, including the apostate form of Christianity today, is not the Israel of God. Because it's so individual, it's such an understanding where, like I said, the spiritual implication of that which has a physical representation, you and I are, 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 are the testimony made to life in a physical vessel. So we are the physical representation of, of that spiritual implication, biblically speaking. And so we are, we are not without that spiritual authority. And a lot of us didn't know that when we came, when we became target, that we, we, we became of that spiritual authority to have that, that, uh, uh, separation, that sanctification, the, the, the free will to, to be empowered. And this is so, this is not, this is not, you shouldn't take this personally, uh, personally, it's, it's really impersonal that you should take it, but not left, not leave, not leave it undone. See, the, the grace, the false grace orientation of Christianity today is to, is to, undo what has been done for the saints, by the saints, in being supplanted by God's proper order, you know, and that's not biblical, biblically accurate, you know, and so we're here now, and it's up to the listener to decide, hey, am I, where is my walk taking me? These doves are like my favorite. Only good thing about the desert. And like I said, everything is coming. The light is the light of Christ is so powerful right now that it's bringing, it's dividing in every way. That which is physical by way of a spiritual implication, meaning we're beginning to see everything for what it is. And Esau wants to destroy us before we get to the fulfillment process of, of, of biblical prophetic, you know, measures. And what looks like, what seems like a war that we're losing, no, it's not. God has already won the war spiritually. Um, he's already represented it by the, the, the action of, of sending his son into physical human, as a, as a physical human being to, to undergo the suffering and examination. The same order as this, what the saints went through, but just before their timing. 
in the physical. And then he went back up to be with the father, father after three days to be at his right hand. And so... That's what we're going through. And we can't deny it now. The light is proving to us who we are and proving to, 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 to them who they are. And, and, and God's plan is, is on time for, what he, for, what, for the, for the storyline um, that false grace-oriented Christianity does not have answers for because it is out, outside of God's order in terms of, of, of biblical uh, understanding. Because if you biblically saw, if you saw your walk from a uh, God's order according to uh, biblical implication, then then the world would hate you. That's like that. That's the work of God. That's not the work of me saying, "Oh, you got to get into your Bible and, and read it. You got to, you know, you, you got to do, you got to do all these things." No, you got to be spirit led as you're reading the Bible. That. It's, it's, it's the hand of God's work. He sends you the Holy Spirit to, to teach you these things and remind you of what Christ taught, you know, in God's order. And so, yes, um, yeah, I guess maybe I'll title this one since it's kind of obvious. <sighs> the Israel of God's. The Israel of God. Um, special election. So, all right, guys, once again, um, don't forget to, uh, I don't ask too often, but uh it just seems like every time I drop a podcast, I lose subscribers for some reason. I think it's just a manufactured thing where the numbers are so skewed right now. But if you're if you're a real listener, uh, you know, thumbs up and and and, and um, do subscribe. You know, it's not this isn't something I, I you know I don't ever really ask for because it's just you know it's it's a small niche that that God sends me and I'm fine with that. You know. And so, um, all right, guys, got to go. So till the next one, I love you guys. All right, till the next one, guys, Godspeed.